October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. On Saturday, people in Macon will gather for the ninth annual walk to remember La Smokey Fountain. She was found dead on K Street in 2015 after she was shot by her boyfriend, Derek Booz. Maggie Fitzgerald spoke with Fountain's family ahead of the walk and shows you how they continue to honor and remember La Smokey as more than a number. It's a tradition for the Fountain family this time of year. A wave of purple will make its way through K Street on the last weekend in October. As they continue the mission, they hold close to their hearts. She means everything to me. I carry her with me in my heart every day. I always had a, a smile on her face regardless of what she was going through. For our loved one, we come together every year around this time and we celebrate the life of Lasmaki Fountain. A celebration of Lasmaki a beloved mother, cousin, niece, and friend, and the mission to bring awareness to domestic violence. A purple parade will cruise the street where she was found in 2015. It's a collaboration with organizations like Crisis Line and Safe House of Central Georgia. I think it's wonderful that they honor her life, but it's also wonderful that they're giving a voice to domestic violence because often people in the community don't want to talk about it. And the Fountain family has chosen to bring light to their mission, literally. They celebrate Purple Light Day on October 26th and ask the community to light their own purple bulbs in support. Lasmaki's aunt Sharon Stafford created these traditions to inform others about the signs of domestic violence. If you see something, then you should say something. And when you say something, then you can do something. We have survivors, but we also have some who didn't survive. We just want to make sure that we continue to push, keep keep it pushing, keep doing whatever we can to get the word out. The walk will begin here on K Street at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Everyone is welcome and encouraged to wear purple. In Macon, Maggie Fitzgerald, 13 WMAZ News. We want to remind you about our More Than the Number series that aims to give a face to the victim and a voice to the family. It's our goal to share these stories when families are ready to help honor their loved one. If someone you know has been the victim of a homicide or tragedy, you can add their information to our family form, which you can find on 13WMAZ.com. As a reminder, text MORE to 478-752-1309 and we'll send our resource guide directly to your phone. That's MORE to 478 752-1309. If you or someone you know is experiencing a domestic violence situation, there are resources available in Central Georgia. That includes Crisis Line and Safe House. There's also Wings in Dublin, a state certified family violence and sexual assault intervention, pro intervention program. The Rescue Mission of Middle Georgia is a domestic violence and recovery program for women. In Warner Robins, the Salvation Army offers support services. You can also call the Georgia Coalition Against Domestic Violence. It's a 24-hour statewide hotline. That number is 404-209-0280.